Dear colleagues, I'm called to labor and delivery as a registrar of obstetrics and gynecology um, to a patient, 27 years old, first baby. She was delivered by a vacuum extraction and uh, she's bleeding severely. The midwife is calling because she checked uh, the placenta that was already delivered after three units of pitocin and it's incomplete. So she asked me to help her. The first thing I'm doing in labor and delivery is, of course, I can check the uterus. The uterus is uh, normally contracted um, and it's not an atony at the moment, as far as I can uh, see it. She's bleeding slightly more than usual and uh, we are also uh, f find the placenta. The placenta is incomplete. We can see that uh, several parts of the um, uh, layer here is missing. So the first thing we need to consider is to do a curettage. The midwife already uh, prepared what we need um, and uh, not only that she prepared the set for suturing um, tears, uh, we expect a, um, a slight uh, vaginal tear. No, she already prepared um, a specular um, to check for cervical um, <coughs> lesions and um, the instruments to check for uh, the cervix and the vagina. And also we have uh, sutures prepared. So what we can now see here is that the patient is um, already bleeding rather severely and uh, that it's obviously coming um, from uh, the uterus. I spread the uh, vulva a little bit and I can see the blood coming from, um, from the uterus most probably. And the first thing we do is we um, try um, to do a curettage. So what I can do in this um, simulation, I can, I can do a speculum. And now I need somebody to hold it here, please. And, um, and you can already see here the cervical os widely opened as it looks in a woman that has just delivered and you can, you can take the, the, the cervical os with a clamp and uh, you can take it out please. You can take it out please. And just, just put it here. Yeah. And you can take a second clamp to hold it. And then like in a, in a typical obstetric situation, and now you can easily proceed to do a curettage and you can remove the placental residuals from the uterus easily. After doing the curettage, you can easily see that we found the placenta residuals. We retrieved them from the uterine cavity and we can check if everything is complete. It's, it's three little residuals missing and um, so step one is done. Now the patient is still bleeding. And now what uh, can be simulated in this uh, uh, situation is a um, bleeding from a vaginal tear at different levels. What you can also simulate here is a, a large vaginal tear on the right side and you can easily train suturing and uh, covering it and um, okay, now you get a very realistic picture of a uh, bleeding from uh, a lateral um, vaginal bleeding from the lateral vaginal wall and of course you can do a speculum now and what, else, what, what you can also do um, is you can suture the tear and now I need some assistance please please hold it here Hold it there. We can now, where we see the bleeding coming from, we can simulate. Suture of a vaginal tear. Very easily. It's 
almost like in reality. Very realistic. Thank you very much. So the next step is after suturing that, we find that the patient is still bleeding from the uterus. Now you, you see that the patient is still bleeding from the uterine cavity. It takes a while until the blood is coming. Please switch it on. And um, we are very concerned because the, the uterus is, is getting softer and softer. And if you, if you for example, if you, if you put pressure on the uterus, you can see the, that, that more and more blood is coming out of the uterus. And so we decide, we did a curettage and uh, we, uh, the patient had pitocin. So now we switch over to prostaglandins to get the uterus contract better. And please um, stop the bleeding a little bit. But unfortunately, this doesn't help with this situation. So we decide to do another speculum and to do a uterine packing. So please hold this. And I hold that. And now what you can do, of course, you can do a classic packing where you can put this gauze into the uterus and into the vagina to put some pressure in the uterine cavity and then in addition you can hold the uterus from there and get the bleeding stop. So that is the easiest way. If it's still bleeding of course you need to switch to another form of um, packing and uh, we basically we have two ways to do a packing one is that you um, take the vacuum balloon and of course the whole system can easily be used to train the insert of a vacuum balloon and fill it completely or you can use Salox. Salox, which is a um, ketosan covered gauze, three meters long, that you can put into the uterus and it's um, hemostatic. And it's widely used in obstetrics nowadays um, to control vaginal bleeding, at least in Germany. What I like most about the model is that you can also train um, situations that are hard to train, actually. For example, check for cervical tears. So you have a cervix that looks very realistic, like a cervix of a woman who has delivered just recently, very thin, and you can check for tears. And um, you can put that on. Then you go around the cervix. step by step and you check for integrity of the cervical loss in a circular way. You can go around the cervix step by step and check integrity. And um, there's no model I know of that is suitable for training that situation. That is one of the most important issues in uh, PPH training. And now we have a 360 view of the cervix. Everything is intact. There's no need for sutures. With this model you can also train other situations like the Hamilton maneuver. You take a pad, you put it into the vagina, you take the fist, put the fist in and you hold the uterus from upside and push it down 
And by that you can get a feeling how hard it is to hold it for a long time in really severe PPH situations. And you can also simulate uterine contraction with this model. You have a little vacuum pump and with the vacuum pump you can reduce the volume of the uterus very easily and um, put it on and you can feel the, the fundus and the fundus is going down and it's going down and it's going down and the uterus the same way is getting from soft to hard so it's also a different feeling very realistic like in real obstetrics and also you can reverse that effect by just letting air come back in the system but that the uterus increasing volume again. Thank you. If you have questions, please scan the QR code and uh, get in touch with us. We are more than happy to answer all your questions.